Welcome back, witches, warlocks, and wizards. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make Florida water. These are the fresh ingredients up here in the orange. And here are my dry ingredients. There's five cinnamon sticks, five bay leaves, 18 allspice berries, and some rose petals. I typically use fresh rose petals, but I just don't have any right now. The main ingredient is alcohol. Cane alcohol that's distilled, well, that's made from sugar canes. Um, you can also use regular vodka or you can use Everclear. Typically, that's what the recipes recommend, is to use vodka and Everclear, but I'm using cane alcohol because it works with the traditions that I like to work with, and I like the properties that it has. As for the fresh ingredients, that's basil, sage, rosemary, baby dill, and an orange peel. Since we're going to be boiling alcohol, you want to make sure that you have something with a fitting lid. You don't want something that comes out like this because the alcohol will collect and it will start dripping on the edges. Once it starts dripping on the edges, it's gonna hit the fire and everything's gonna get engulfed in flames because alcohol is really, really flammable. So I don't even recommend people to do this at home because of how dangerous it can be. But if you're gonna do it anyways, I might as well show you how to do it. So the original, Recipe calls for five cups of vodka. I'm gonna try to not use so much this time, but make sure before you turn the stove on that you pour the alcohol and make sure not to spill any of it anywhere outside of the stove because it will catch fire and it will explode. Ugh. I hate the smell of vodka. If you have a hood, please turn it on as it will get rid of the alcohol vapors and now what you do is you're going to boil it in between low and medium add your dry ingredients first always now bring the dry ingredients to a simmer for 10 minutes you're gonna simmer this for 10 minutes before you boil the fresh ingredients Make sure to slowly bring it up to a simmer. If you try to boil alcohol too quickly, it can totally combust into flames and your entire stove will be on fire. So slowly bring it up to a simmer. See the alcohol is starting to collect. Um, if you're like me, you're gonna start to get nervous naturally. Always keep an eye on any alcohol that you're boiling because it can explode at any second, especially if the alcohol reaches a temperature of over 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep in mind that with pure alcohol, the lower the flash point. Hitting the flash point can result in your entire mixture combusting into flames. So you probably shouldn't do this at home or inside your home or anywhere near it. So I got some old weird basil smelling it it doesn't look bad it actually smells like basil so we're gonna go ahead and throw it on to the fresh pile plate here is the sage sage is really important to have in this florida water mix especially if you're using it to cleanse um, you can also if you have lavender you can add lavender i just I'm not looking for so much of a floral Florida water this time. For floral ones, you can actually add um, jasmine, you can add chamomile, you can add lavender. Lavender is really common in Florida water mixes. I just don't want to add it to this one. Probably going to add a few essential oils to it. So this is rosemary. It's starting to go bad too, but I'm going to use these before they go bad. And I'm going to save myself three sprigs for some other working. Last but not least, baby dill, which has some protective qualities. I'm just gonna throw that in there. Going to the top. I have no use for dill, fresh dill, um, but I, I'm gonna just save some because maybe I could give some as offerings. So here's the plate of fresh ingredients. Pour it into here. Carefully open your lid so that nothing drips over the fire under here. Make sure that there isn't an excessive amount of alcohol vapors. I get my fresh ingredients.
turn up the heat just literally just a fraction higher close the lid and now we got the timer going for 30 minutes keep an eye on the mixture as it boils because it's going to boil more and more and you're going to have to turn the heat down more and more every single time okay so i just put in some jasmine oil since it's at a higher temp right now uh, I'm going to lift the lid up, but the vapors are going to go everywhere. So before I lift the lid up, I'm going to close any open heat sources and turn off the stove. Now, uh, make sure your hood's also on so that it sucks up the vapors. But now I'm going to just slowly open it. And I'm going to back up because I don't want to breathe in these vapors either. Look at that. So I'm gonna let this cool off for a little bit and move it over so it's not on a hot stove. So I'm gonna finally take the mix right here. And if you have a cheesecloth, this would be ideal. I have a cheesecloth somewhere but I'm not gonna look for it now. Cheesecloth is ideal because you can squeeze all of the last juices out of this that you would want from it. Oh let me do it so you guys can see. Ooh, one handed. I'm gonna pick I'm picking the cinnamon sticks and I'm gonna be leaving three cinnamon sticks in my mix. Why do I do this? Because I like the properties of cinnamon. Wow, that one has expanded so much. It turned itself into three for me. The only risk I run is that they won't be able, they might expand so much that they won't be able to come out. I don't have I don't have my cheesecloth, so I'm gonna go squeezing some herbs around. The whole batch is basically done the moment you're done straining and squeezing. Um, of course, I'd let the mixture cool down a little bit before using it because it has like this weird foam on it. Honestly, it really doesn't matter. You can go ahead and use it right away. You can even pour a bottle of Florida water into this and mix it all together. I like to use this to clean my altars. I use it to clean my crystals. I use it to clean my divination tools too. I'll put it in a spray bottle and like spray my tarot cards or spray the area, it depends. This Florida water isn't so pretty as the store-bought Florida water, but this is natural, so that's why it's really dark. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what else you guys wanna learn about. Thanks for watching.